Okay, everybody, another edition of the Mikey Show, and uh, here we are at a client of mine's house uh, who's got, these are all reel-to-reel tapes. These are all master tapes. Oh, there it went. The light went out. Okay, so if we go up in here and see these, Duke Ellington, Diodato, Miles Davis, Eric Clapton, Journeyman, look at all these Eric Clapton, Cat Stevens, Shelly Mann, Dave Brubeck, George Benson. I mean, these are all the masters. ACDC back in black master tape. Like, we can pull on me. BASF, Studio Master, Steely Dan, Steely Dan, Santana, Roxy Music, Rage Against the Machine, Michael Jackson, Pink Floyd. Um, incredible incredible we could go on and on all these are masters from the albums okay. and then we come over here and what do we have but the, you know maybe one of the top reel to reels ever made a studer a820 we've got not only one 8820 but we've got two 820s uh and we've got a nick doshi tape head pre oscilloscope so we can and, you know, so we can get these things dialed in and calibrated. And, you know, look, all this more tapes on the ground, you know, just all sorts of stuff. Now we're going to come in here and I'm going to show you guys really a laboratory. Here we go. I'm going to come around. And right here is a um, Aqua La Diva. Um, this is a um, transport, a CD transport using the latest. CD Phillips Pro mechanism. Um, here is an attenuator, stepped attenuator for volume control. Here is a NAT Audio Magnetostat SE line stage. We've got um, down here is the playback designs because we brought the MPD-8. We've got down here a Taurus power, um, a balance power probably. It's just a big ass toroid in there. We've got a power supply, a modified cello, which you guys can't really see, because that's for one of these. And if you don't know what one of these is, this is an extremely famous EQ called an audio palette. Um, this is something that I learned about from Mark Levinson uh, when I hung out with him in New York City, maybe about 12 years ago. I learned all about his cello brand. He taught me all about everything he did with cello. How he was the this was the, they were the ones that designed the knobs that did like like click, click, let's click. see no these little hats like they look like little hats right oh, this yeah. is one knob and it's then like it's got calibrate that was that was their design um, and then other people copied it afterwards up here is a Rockna Wave Dream signature balance that I sold to this client here is an Oppo um, here is an Abbas which is a um, a DAC, a really tweaky freaking DAC. You got to see this thing. It's a tube DAC. And man, I mean, the way this thing is made is just OCD level of weirdness. Like, look at these things. Here's a Philips TDA 1541. That's a R2R monolithic uh, chip that they used to make back in the day. No longer made. This is all made with unobtainium. These tubes are new old stock from way back when, and we go all the way back to the back side near the power supply. We got a tube rectifier popping up here. I mean, it is like, uh, this is really serious OCD level uh, builds, you know. Um, it's amazing how, uh, how these things are built, but they're really interesting to look at. Um, back here, we've got dual 21 inch subs. Made by, I think they're called Funk Firm or Funk Audio. Um, massive, massive dual 21s. Of course, we've got room treatment back here, all along the back, up in the corners. We come over here to the audio system, and we've got, um, well, let's start over here. We've got classic audio loudspeakers. You know, John, he used typically at the shows, he'll have the little RCA dog and the parrots on top of the speakers. These are heavily modified. He's got concrete on the inside um, that he put. He, he really modified these. Dale, Dale, what are the drivers in these? 
Uh, those are custom made by John Wolf. Okay, so these are so John Wolf are classic field, audio. Field, field, of course, do not put that water bottle in. Mark Look what I just water. did. Look what I just yeah, did. That's uh, how you almost, get your ass I, I got I got bitch slapped yeah. almost. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, okay, so classic audio loudspeakers. Tell us about the compression driver. Is so that a does tad it, compression driver? It, when I bought these speakers 20 years ago, yeah. that's what it was in there. It was a tad driver. Okay. But then John upgraded the field coils, so he builds the field coil himself. Okay, for driver. that for that driver. So this is a this this is a maple horn. Uh huh. That he consulted Bruce Edgar. Yep, and, Edgar Horn. Okay. Yeah. So Bruce and him designed the frequency. The da da da. So this is a field coil, and this woofer used to be a Tad 1602. Okay. But now it's a, a custom built field coil by John by John Wolfer Classic Audio Reproduction Loudspeakers. Okay. This is a still have my Tad original Tad. ET 703. That's a tad, okay. Super tweeter. Super tweeter. And then there's a 1601 uh, tad woofer that's on the bottom of this. On the down. bottom of this, underneath, is a 1601 tad. 15 inch. 15 inch underneath here, pointing yeah. downward. Yep. And we've got, what are these feet you have on there? Those are still points, ultra fives. Still points. And then what about that plinth that it's sitting on? Uh, that's a butcher block. It's a ma four, major four, bush four, block. And look four, look what we have there. Look at that flat power cord. Where, yeah, those, where'd those, you get that? Some crazy some fucker guy in, in, Georgia. in Atlanta? Yeah. Some guy in Georgia. <laughs> yeah, you guys recognize the Vera Star? Uh, okay, this thing here, this crazy looking thing that the power that we've gotten here, this is the power supply for the field coil, okay? Because he's got two field coils. He's got a driver here and a driver here. I'm going to go to this side so you guys can see what's over here before I come back. But here... That's, you want to tell us about this? Yeah. Dave can tell you about this. He's smarter than okay. me. Okay. Anyway, this is this is the this is how we make this is, this is the, how this, we make DC for yeah, these field for coil the field drivers. Coil drivers. And uh, and and before the dinosaurs roamed the earth, we were using a solid state, and we graduated, and now we're using uh, Tongar. They're called Tongar bulbs because. These were originally used. It's it's a tungsten, it's a tungsten filament filled with argon gas. Hence tungar. Tungar. Tungsten yeah. filament filled with argon gas inside yeah. these tubes. Yeah. So and look at that the, iron. The, these shit. were half halfway <laughs> rectifiers, but from the 1920s that were used for charging car batteries. That's how old this technology is. So okay, we so did the field test, and there's no competition. This is the best. He's got so an these ion. guys did all the shootouts. They these are all just things sitting around. That's, that, that's just garbage. That's just, just garbage. Yeah, yeah. Just garbage, yeah, Dale garbage. tells yeah. us. These are storage. These yeah, are these are storage. We're not. You're not even using any of that. So tell us about this. This runs your your horns. That is. Or does this run the super tweeter? That's running the horn. Horn and the super tweeter. And tweet. the super tweeter above 400 hertz. Above 400 hertz. Okay. And it's a, that's a. 400 and up is here. This is a a DHT. Single ended 300 BM. Right now we're using LROG 300 Bs. LROG 300 Bs, which are right here. Yeah, and these are all oddball. These are all oddball, oddball drivers. Titanium NOS. No, 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 they're very cheap. That's oh, what they okay. did it on purpose. And then there's bridge rectification. Bridge so, rectification. So each two. And tube. then, well, look at that. Well, yep. What is that back there? Is that another 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 crazy guy from Atlanta? Another power one cord? of those power cords that nobody wants. <laughs> cool. <laughs> And then what do we have down here? Tell us about these. These. What? What are these here? These are the crossovers, right? Those are crossovers. These are tube crossovers. Yep. Custom that are made custom, custom made, one of a kind. Tom Tute from Transition Audio. Tom, rest in peace. He just passed last year. And Re you can R. see R. their mono blocks. Were, so one for they're, they're mono and crossovers. Have, look at the power mono supplies. Mono tube crossovers. The power supplies for them are in the back. So oh, the power supplies are back there for the crossovers. Yep. Tube rectification yep. on those. Look at six, that six thing. By five. That's just the power supply for this tube crossover. Yep. So no cool. substitute for a tube. Okay, and then this crown powers the base. The crown is. I was, I'm going to use them eventually for maybe the, the loud. It's not being sound, used. It sounds so good that I have any, We're not even using the. Loud and you've got cello amps. What are those on? They're running the, this. They're running the, the field coil. The field coil, yeah. okay. So so the 300, right now, the 300B is, look, 300B up here. Yep, here. okay. The cello monoblocks are running 
the woofer. Yeah. Okay, so he's got these beautiful cello monoblocks running woofer duty, which is pretty awesome. So let's do a little listening here. And here is uh, how the rig looks from the seated position. You can see all sorts of associated meters and so forth to set bias and do all that. Make sure everything is dialed in. There's the power supplies that we were just uh, looking at. Okay, and so I noticed there's no vinyl in here. What happened with vinyl? There's plenty of vinyl over there in the corner. <laughs> oh, yeah. There it is. There it is. Look at all the I, vinyl. Uh, yeah, I haven't hooked up the vinyl because guess what's in the other room? What's in the other room? Yeah, a, a pair of scooters, 820s. Oh, yeah, the 820s. We saw the 820s, yeah. Yeah. No need Be for vinyl, huh? Between digital and... Gotta... Uh, between this low-level digital and uh, the, the tape... And, and what is this thing? Is that an 820 and uh, an Ampex? That is an ATR-102. ATR-102, uh-huh. Do you spare, have the... That's my spare the, tire. That's your spare tire. Yeah. Oh, designs.